What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Well, I am here at Oak Hill Memorial Park in San Jose, California here. This cemetery is one of the largest in San Jose here. This cemetery, I do believe it was established in 1892, I do believe, um, and it's considered one of the largest out here. It's sprawling, it's spread out. What we're gonna do, or attempt to do here, is do the mausoleum tour. They have this gigantic grand mausoleum, and um, uh, today is Sunday. On the weekends, I've been here, I've only been here on the weekdays before, but I've never been here on a weekend. On the weekends, this place packs them in here like Disneyland almost, man. There's so many people in here right now, and there's some people in the mausoleum, they are, you know, visiting loved ones, they are placing flowers on loved ones, you know, spots. Um, so what we're going to do here is try to do the mausoleum tour. We're going to be respectful of people inside. Um, I'm going to try to avoid people who may be in there, you know, mourning or, you know, visiting, putting flowers, whatever. I'm going to do my best to avoid some of those areas. Um, maybe I can wait till people clear out and then go to those areas that there's people in them. But we're going to be respectful and um, let's do it. Looks like they recently had a service here, I think. It's a warm day, they got fans on in here. This is a combination. Here is the final resting place of Paul Masson. He lived from 1859 to 1940. He was a businessman. If you guys are familiar with wine, Paul Masson should be a name that's familiar to you. He founded the winery in Southern California and helped popularize sparkling wine. Paul Masson from the Paul Masson Winery. Hey 
And right above him is his spouse, Louise, 1861 to 1932, and Adele. I couldn't find an Adele, but I think it might be um, a child, a daughter. 1898 to 1954. And here is the final resting place of Brooke Hart. He lived from 1911 to 1933. It looks like he was a kidnapping and murder victim. He was kidnapped and held for $40,000 ransom. His family owned the Hart department store in San Jose, California. A massive manhunt led conclusively to Thomas Harold Thurmond. After six hours of interrogation, he named his accomplice John M. Holmes. They fessed up to murdering Brooke with a piece of concrete and indicated where they had dropped the body into the San Francisco Bay. The body was found 17 days later. Outraged by the crime, a group of vigilantes stormed San Jose Jail and hanged the two criminals in the town square as thousands watched. So that's a little bit about Brooke Hart there kidnapping victim held for $40,000 ransom and his captors ended up killing him anyway and here is his father Alexander J. Hart he was a businessman and owner of Hart's department store their first child Brooke was kidnapped on November 9th 1933 while on his way home a $40,000 ransom call was received by his sister Elise at their home that evening John M. Holmes and Thomas H. Thurmond were arrested for the kidnapping and murder they had killed him within an hour after abduction, and they threw him into the San Francisco Bay from the San Francisco Bridge after they robbed him, hit him with a brick, wrapped him in wire, and weighed down the body with concrete. Wow. A little bit more of an explanation to the kidnapping. Wow, that's sad. And then there's some other family here too. Looks like uh, Nettie. Looks like she was the um, the wife of Alexander. And then Alexander J. Hart Jr. and the child as well. God, this is beautiful, this area. Axford is the name, but there's a, a rodeo horse statue of the guy riding it on the um, urn here. Eight, Harry W. 1890-1976, Lucius 1900-1949, and Winnie 1895-1968. Wow, that's, that's a unique one. We're talking about unique containers. This is a unique one right here. Interesting, a Glade plug-in. Hmm, I wonder why they have an air freshener in here. Ferreira is the last name on this one. Grand one here. And we have on the left here, Dr. John, 1896 to 1992. And I guess on the right here is his spouse, Mary, 1904 to 1958. This is a beautiful one. And this guy was a notable doctor in the area. I love how the design is almost like a bed with a pillow. So I'm trying my hardest to avoid everybody. It's kind of hard. There's a few people in here, so we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna do our best to avoid. Look at this beautiful area here. Wonderful stained glass.
guys want to go upstairs, there's actually an upper level to this place, from what I hear, is pretty, pretty stunning as well. But before we do that, let's look at some of this um, stained glass here. Beautiful. Bunch of urns and everything in here. Gorgeous. A couple of ones that kind of struck me as interesting. Margaret Seeley, 1866 to 1938. Got her picture. And George B. Seeley. 1864 to 1954. And we got his picture as well. There's not too many with pictures in here, so that kind of uh, struck me. It kind of jumped out at me. So let's go to the upper level now. Dark staircase. You know I'm going to go up it. Let's do this. Mostly columbarium up here. design that we always see. It's a pretty massive wall. And this is pretty full, but it looks like there's room for one more. See the window back here, the frosted window down from when you walk in the front door and you look up up in that circular uh, entryway. Um, you could see the urns downstairs if you look up. Kind of dark up here, so it's kind of hard to see names. Let me see what I can do here. Beautiful in here. That's beautiful, that one. 1893 to 1930 it looks like. Interesting, Josephine 
Rizzi, 1875 to 1929, and Harry, 1883 to 1942. Wow. Elman S. Huggs, 1844 to 1929, and Cora, 1862 to 1948. Wow. Found another room in here as well. Look at this urn right here. Beautiful. There's four people in this one. Morton is the name. See Helen B. 1905 to 1958, Irwin 1902 to 1978, Edward J. 1937. There's no date, and Robert 1942 to 1975. So there's only three in there right now. It seems though. Wow. There are some dark sections to this. This is crazy. What's this one? Theodore H. Johnson, 1848 to 1945. Wow. Look at this one. This is good. There's eight people in here. Two, four, six, eight people in here. This is a long one. Kirk Hazel, eighteen ninety one to nineteen sixty one, and Howard, eighteen ninety to nineteen seventy two. And there's a oh wow, Jake Alexander, June twenty seventh, two thousand two. Hmm. Edward Phillips Rolson, eighteen ninety to nineteen fifty six. Now what's interesting up here? The Egyptian design Matthews, Dorothy B. eighteen eighty six to nineteen fifty four, and Meredith eighteen eighty seven to nineteen sixty two. I do believe. J. Frank Leffler, 1869 to 1914, looks like. Oh, room for tea. This one over here is big and very, very interesting. Lula Binkley, 1905 to 1967, it looks like. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Did my best to try to avoid people. I'm going to probably have to edit some people out just out of respect to the people who are visiting in here. But I think overall, pretty successful visit. Thank you all so much for watching. If you dug this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon. Therefore, you'll be notified of all of my future uploads. And I'll see you on the next one. And it's hotter than heck up here.